bienvenida to Paranduleo. Um, I want to ask you, is it Silla or Sella? Um, I, I get this all the time. And to be honest with you, my name is Priscilla. Okay, but that's what I, I thought. <laughs> I embrace Sia because I just love to hear everybody and every language say it. So it just makes me happy, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's, let's use Sia. But followers here can get to know you a little bit more. You're originally from El Paso, Texas, but you currently live now in Las Vegas. So let's talk about that. How did you go from um, El Paso to Las Vegas? Um, I like to start off with this. I was born dead on Friday the 13th of July, and um, I was resurrected um, like a couple minutes later. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Um, that explains why I am the way I am pretty much in itself. Um, my mom married my father who raised me, and he had a job moved to, uh, he had to go for work. Got so, um, yeah. So that's, how, how old were you when you moved to Las Vegas? Honestly, I was uh, 19 when I moved okay. to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me a little bit about your start in music. I know that you sing, but you also DJ in Las Vegas. So tell me a little bit how you got started on that. Here's my DJ setup in my place. Um, so cool. I, you know, I always have had this thing for music and entertainment in every form, every capacity, and every level. Um, music has always been the dream of mine, making music. I feel like I started making music since I was in my mom's womb, to be honest with you, before I was born. Um, it's my purpose, it's my mission in life to make people happy and to entertain them and to get their minds off of whatever's going on. So it's part of who I am. And when I moved to Las Vegas, I felt so welcome. I felt like I was amongst my fellow aliens here in Las Vegas. <laughs> I love it. So tell me, you DJ and you also sing. Yes. Is there one that you prefer that you feel most comfortable with or that you like? I know it's a hard question and I always like to ask it because I'm hoping that one day someone will surprise me and say, yes, I like one more than the other, but I always get, no, I love them both. Um, I will totally be that person for you. Okay. Um, I love singing more than DJing because it's my music. Um, I created Let's just say I created who I've always wanted to be. I am who I wanted to be since I was a little kid. And the fact that um, I get to share my own music, my way um, is the best feeling in the whole world. And that people want to share me and who I am and my sound and my style. Um, and the fact that I am new, unique in today's world where there's just, it's saturated with absolutely everything the fact that I stand out to people really makes me happy and honestly it really I, I I don't like being introduced as a DJ because I'm so much more than that but people always overlook it I'm like I'm a Latin artist I created my own sound I'm new blah 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 and I'm also a DJ and they're like you're a DJ I'm like yes I'm a DJ <laughs> so tell me a little bit about um the DJ and the singing aspect which one came first do I do first? Yeah, like which one came first into your life? Which one did you start doing first? Did you start singing first or did you start DJing first? Oh, um, I would say I was a musician first when I was a little kid. Okay. Um, I grew up playing the violin with my sister. Oh. We would play for, we'd play for church and my sister and I were best friends since, you know, since I was born. So um, we've always made music. We had our own band called The Cleaning Crew when we were kids. And That's so cool. Oh, so yeah, music is definitely okay. uh, number one. So DJing was my way just to kind of stay in music and keep at it because I, I just couldn't listen to music as a regular person. I wanted to share it all the time. And it never really clicked until I moved to Las Vegas and I saw a female DJ and I was like, oh, I could do that for fun. And then that turned into a career. And then now D DJing has funded all of my music I love that I love that because it's all it also shows that you're multifaceted that you can do both and do Thank both you. really well tell me about your music I know that um you're first of all I want to ask you why did you decide on cumbia and reggaeton was there something specifically that you liked about it why not another genre yes um now I am I am very deep I'm a music nerd um, and because I like Las Vegas has brought out like the best, let's say the world-class 
Scylla, the world-class entertainer, world-class DJ, world-class MC. All my friends are dancers. So I was DJing for Mexican Independence Weekend at Caesars Palace. I have a big partnership with Caesars Entertainment. And oh, congratulations. Me, thank you. They heard me play a Latin set. And then they're like, we want to start a Latin night around you. And then they would have me DJ Mexican Independence Weekend. So I would open and close for all their headliners. Um, and this weekend, it was the biggest Mexican artist. So Luis Miguel. Yes. Um, and um, I'm DJing this after party. And I'm playing. I said, if I, I had it in my head that I wanted to start making music. And I was like, OK, if I cannot play for my people, then I don't deserve to be here. Um, needless to say. I played till five in the morning and then they start chanting my name out of the venue at, at Caesar's Palace. So, so I was like, okay, I got this. So what I wanted to do as I'm playing, honestly, in a club setting, you only get to play Selena for real in, in the Latin, in the Mexican community, you really only get to play Selena. Everything is male dominant. <laughs> and then I'm playing some of my friends remixes and I was like, you know, this is like new cumbia. They're, yeah. They're my friends. My friends can help me make my music. So it all just kind of came to me while I'm there. And I like to, people are kind of really basic minded um, um, in music. So yeah. they're fed with, they're given to you. So I wanted something familiar. So for me, that's cumbia. What makes women move is cumbia. Mm -hmm. um, so I figured, well, let's give this a shot. Let's, let's just try it out. And lo and behold, here I am and it's actually working. So everybody has taken every ounce of bait that I've given them and I'm able to take that to the next level and it's blowing my mind. It's crazy. Did I That's answer your awesome. question? Awesome. Yes, yes, you did. I love <laughs> how the story came about about the music and the genre that you decided to pursue. I love that. And I, I love when, when there is an actual story behind something, you know what I mean? I just feel it gives it much more meaning to it versus you just saying, Oh, I don't know. I just, I just decided one day to come out, you know, and, and no, the genre, um, but I think it's, it's, it's much more beautiful. And I think there's much more of you in sync with, with the genre and you singing it, if there's a personal story behind it, or if there's an actual story. So I love that. Thank you for sharing that. And now let's talk about the song that you're currently promoting, which is Cumbia Ambera, and it's off your album, Yo Quiero Silla. Tell me about this song. Cumbia Ambera, Cumbia Ambera. Um, it's up my album. It's called La Diabla. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, so, La Diabla. No, it's okay. Um, what I Cumbia Vera is it's written and produced by my very good friend Version Five. Um, when we got into the studio again, it was just a tester, and then we just started. I told him what I wanted. I really wanted to create the next, um, let's say, Mexican American pop star. So mm -hmm. like that of Selena. Uh, I really wanted to be a larger than life personality. And if the music doesn't work, I want my personality to carry through so I can continue to benefit off of that, yeah. just like I am. But the song for me and Vera, it's uh, actually written about um, our moms. Um, okay. So in the Mexican community or Colombian community, all of uh, the Latin community, it's, it's written about our moms who teach us cumbia and the Latin music. So. Um, you know, si miedo me dijo mi mama. That's uh, really, it's it's about our moms and it's about just expressing yourself in a new way through cumbia. If you come and see me in my shows, yes, I'll do the classic like moves. Uh -huh. But I really like to, uh, let's just say, I like to club it up. I like to twerk it up. And my music, I feel like it's it's good, but I want to say this line to piss people off. Let's say, I'm here to ruin cumbia. I'm here to ruin cumbia. You know, what? I, like that, though. I like that because you're, you're, I think it goes hand in hand with what you were saying that you wanted to be this non, um, you know, not your conventional cumbia singer or cumbia dancer. You want to be larger than life personality. And I think that that's shining through on what you're doing with this genre. You're making it, you love cumbia, but you're making it your own. You're adding your special, your special flavor to it and I think that that's amazing and I wanted to congratulate you on that um 
I love Thank seeing you. women. I love seeing women in music because, as you know, there's not a lot of them, and 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 that have risen. You know, continue to rise through the ranks. It's it's a very male dominated um, industry, which I hope that you know one day we continue to make strides in that. So I'm always very happy to see women in music making strides, and also get the opportunity to interview them to get them to know a little bit more. I loved your personality. I loved meeting you. Cuéntame ahora, what are you working on now? Because I know that you're promoting this song. What are you doing now? Okay, so now I'm actually doing a remake of a classic. Um, you might recognize it. it. It goes like this. Amor, 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 le vas a recordar. Um, do you recognize that song? A little bit, yes. Yeah, a little, little bit, bit okay. about that. Um, so this is kind of my G sign in Mexican music. Um, I, I will start off with this, with my whole um, noticing that Mexicans, regional Mexican music, it's very conservative and it's very traditional. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like country music, how it's going all electro now and trappy, like Diplo, we would say Diplo ruined country music. Yeah. So now Cumbia, it's going a little bit more electro, but it's less a Quintanilla. It's going to be more twerkified, like what I'm doing. Um, and that really pisses off the males. And I wanted to dress like the males because all I see in regional Mexican concerts are nothing but men. Mm -hmm. So I dress like a man, but I wore my, let's just say, boobs up, chain, same swag. And I was at the billboards and I got like mobs because people loved my look so much and because they love loved it. my look so much. I was like, okay, that's my look. And then I rolled with it. So it's like, I placed myself to look like the men, but not sound like the men. So it's like, surprise, here uh -huh, I am. Exactly. I'm here to, to shock the culture. So this song in particular, it is me saying no mas i'm tired of being dismissed i'm tired of being unappreciated i'm tired of being like let's say treated like a slave treated like everything bad and bitch you're gonna, love it. you're gonna remember me i and love I'm it not gonna, i'm gonna and forget that and you. that is how you're gonna leave away yeah a footprint in this industry and i love it so congratulations on that i wish you the best it was a pleasure for me to meet you and it was an honor for us to have you here at Paranduleo. Um, tell everyone where they can follow you on social media so they can learn a little bit more about you and your music. Thank you. Um, please follow me on all social media platforms at Yo Quiero Silla, S-I-L-L-A, so I like chair, Yo Quiero mm -hmm. Silla. Um, on all social media platforms. Thank you so much for having no, me. No, thank so you. Sweet. Thank you for making the time to be here with me. I loved meeting yeah. you and getting to know you a little bit more. and. Um, like I said, I always support women in music because music is one of my biggest passions and I love seeing more and more women uh, making strides. So congrats on that. I wish you the best. And I'm happy that also I was the person that asked you more about your music career than your DJ. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I mean, I, I oh, love that. I, totally, totally. So and, and, and I know, and, and, I, and I know how big, and I know how much of a passion it is. I can, I can hear it and I can see it. So that's why my, my focus was to, was to, valga la redundancia, focus on that. <laughs> yes. And I got but it. Un beso, un beso y un abrazo, Silla. It was a pleasure meeting you and we'll be in touch. Gracias. Thank you so much, Mami. Gracias. Bye. Ciao.